I just start doing bosses. Alrighty, well, the video is starting. Let's go. This is the diamond skin for Kumba? I don't really like it. Um, actually, no, so I, I got... think all the diamond skins are good recently. Maybe recently, just, yeah, yeah, possibly. But uh, I don't like Kumba's. Not a big fan. Um, I am gonna show his like builds, like his two main builds, his DPS build and his uh support build because support is nuts right now. So of course you can build Sentinels and Brace. That's just the facts. You always build Gauntlet. Gauntlet's nuts. And then after that, you want to go into, depending on what you're doing, you could do, pet, if you need pure anti-heal, you do Petulance, Divine, um, and if you need anti-crit, you do Spectral instead of Breastplate, and then you do, uh, what is it? The Silence Cloak, because it gives you more mitigations, usually. That's if you need counters, but other than that, you don't do that. You just do fucking, where is it? You just go Breastplate, you build the left side, Breastplate, you build Genji's Guard, okay. Genji's Guard is OP. You can build mantle. Oh, wait, hold on. Let's do my protections real quick. Cause I don't think you need mantle of discord, do you? You build mantle if you want almost completely capped protections on both. But if you want anti CC on yourself, like you have crowd control reduction, you can just build the other cloak. Still have max physical and just have slightly less magical, which is really fucking stupid. And then, of course, your last item is either going to be Spear the Magus for the bonus damage it gives. You could build the Ro Staff of Mirrodin. That's actually pretty good right now. Because it makes you do increased damage after your ult has been popped. I think it's after it's been popped, though. Another thing I've been building is Manticore Spike, because it gives me the other 20% crowd, crowd control reduction with the, this mitigation cloak. So that way you have it, you have all the crowd control reduction and shit. I always start med cloak because med cloak's nuts. The cooldown one especially. And then I've been building Sunder or Belt. I think Splash Thunder's nuts right now. This is basically the support build. You don't have a lot of damage of course because you're a support, but you have enough. The ability combo is quite simple on Kumba. I'll show the attack version that I ran. Because Bumba's is nuts right now. You either do Pen for the 105 magical power and the 10% cooldown, or you can run Hammer for the bonus true damage. But since you're Kumba, you don't really need those, because you kind of... Because Kumba has a wind-up ability, and you kind of like just stun them for a second, dash into them, and then you can start beating their ass if you want. But either one works really between the two Bumbas. If Sometimes Bumbas is better right now, I'd say run it. Well, here's the I thing: just... my meme build is Eye of the Jungle <laughs> because attack speed's just dumb. You don't even need to cap it on him. Like you can build like three items and be good for like the entire game because he has like the highest attack speed of all of the Guardians. They just nerfed Hammer, so you know, it kind of took away my meme yeah. build. But... Uh, I'm pretty sure you still, let me think, because you build that, you build the stack item, I think you want to build Book of Thoth on him, because you are a, a guardian, and you don't have a lot of damage, and Book of Thoth just makes up for that all day, every day, and then, if you're smart, you'll also build the Warlock Staff, because that's nuts, but if you're worried about double stacking, then don't build well, that. <laughs> you have my Emoja build, where I built, um, both? just Warlocks. No. You build mana just warlocks. Affect, mana doesn't affect your mojo, so you build. Well, just that is warlocks. true. So that's why you don't need the book of thought. Yeah, you build just warlocks, and you get 500 health off of it, and it's awesome. You know, but uh, you, you already have guardian stats. Is why I'm not really worried about that type of stuff. You know, guardian stats well, are guardian stats. Yeah, like they're just like, nuts. I'm building her for the mid lane, so yeah. I get that. I think I'd build Chronos Pendant right after I build Book of Thought. Chronos Pendant's good. Uh. You still need some cooldown, so I would still build... I'd build Soul Gem because of burst damage. It's really good, in general. I like Soul Gem right now, too, actually. That will give you the 40% because your starter is Bumba's Spear, which is 10%, also 10% Pen. That's also free. Uh, Soul Gem also gives you Life Steal, Burst Healing, and Cooldown, along with a little bit of health. 
So, like, I'm at 3k health already. I don't even have, like, the full build. I got two more items to go. And because you are a damage dealer type, uh, you could build Bancrofts. It's a bit expensive. I wouldn't. I'd build Spear because it gives you more lifesteal, more penetration, all that good shit. Uh, if you didn't want to build Soul Gem, you don't have to. You don't need capped cooldown on him. Oh, I usually build capped cooldown because it's really good on him. You could just instead build Bancrofts and build the same build and then build Polly as your last one. So right now I have like 599 power or whatever. Oh wait, that's because I didn't stack my book yet. I'm going to do that. No, but people like to build uh, like whatever on, this, on their Guardians. Like this is a Guardian jungle build that I build. It's 690 power. You have okay protections. It's, it's whatever, right? Like, that's 530 to the phase. There's the polyproc. You hit him with the downward strike, and then you just CC him for a second. Wait for your cooldown. And just bump him again, and they die. That's why I like Bumba's on him. Yeah, I'm running Bumba's spear, because it's a pen. But, if I didn't want to run pen and all this extra bullshit, because Book of Thoth is kind of just what you use to get reduce the power gap between Guardians and stuff. You could build Warlocks and build Pure Pen. I wouldn't build Pure Pen, I'd still build Cooldown, but like, you build more Pen, you know what I mean? Where's Warlocks? Fuck! Fuck! Fuck me! Shit, I'm good. You build Warlocks, it's Staff. I'm not good. You build... Cause you're still gonna need Polynomicon in the end. But you build Warlocks, and then you just go Bancrofts. Or no, you don't go Bancrofts. Well, you can go Bancrofts off the rip, honestly. Bancrofts is nuts right now. You need cooldown, you build Chronos Pendant, you build Soul Gem. You get that, you get that bullshit Bancroft, bro, you're good to go. Actually, you don't even need Soul Gem, you just build Typhons. Yeah. Because then you're going to build Poly in the end. So, like, the entire build would look fuck something like this. I still build Chronos Pendant, regardless of what kind of build I go for, which is Power or Pen, because Chronos Pendant is just Chronos Pendant, it's so good. Well, are you building Rangos? No, you're not. You're building Spear, right? Yeah, you can build Chronos Pendant because you can still get the, um... You still get 10% cooldown off of it, so you get 40. Yeah. Souls in. Here's the thing. There, you want to know what the difference between the two builds is right now, Austin? Not a single fucking thing. They're the same exact power. I'm pretty sure, actually, the only difference is you get a little bit more HP and maybe a little bit more protections. No, not more protections, no. You get more pen with this build. That's the difference. So you build this for the pen if you want. If you need like more pen, because like let's say they're doing like actual double like tanks. Like if they have a warrior and a guardian, you do this. But if they don't, you just build fucking pure power and say fuck the guardian. Because the warrior, if it's an assassin, their stats are obviously going to be lower usually. Even if they build more items, it don't matter. That's how I build cool Kumba at least. But the attack chain is always going to be like you use the square mainly as a, like a dash, not really as like a attack. I'm and if you're using so one attack, you want to root, you want to beat their ass a couple times, stun them, then maybe pop the ult on them. And then the other dash will be on cooldown, so you can hit them right after. Get the poly oh, that makes me So sad. I think that's pretty much it for Kumba. Not really much more to do with him.